Hey, take what up, you take what up, you So then after you structure your whole beat, you're going to probably want to mix it and uh, as, as well as doing some automation or ch changes that uh, automation as in making a change that uh, changes over time uh, or having a modification that changes over time. And the automation, I have two automation clips. I have my master volume, which is really just controlling this, the master. This is a master track and he, all of these, all of these tracks, everything is going into here. So if I pull this volume down, it's like pulling down everything. You see, calm down. You see, it's like literally automating it. So <clears throat> automation in FL studio is super easy. Most of the parameters, you could just literally right click and create automation clip. You want to change uh, when this EQ turns on, right click it, create automation clip. And now you can change, it's essentially changing this knob. So right here, I got this uh, setting for Valhalla Reverb, which is a reverb I have on my vocalist right here. So let me show you. This is a mix knob. 14%. So you might be wondering, how do you change that? Because this is not part of FL Studio. This is a third party plugin. But you can still change these parameters through an automation clip. And it's quite simple. So I'm gonna show you guys how to change the decay. So uh, I'm gonna change this. I just moved it around and I kind of moved it back. So I'm gonna go to tools, last tweaked. I'm gonna go to tools, last tweaked. Vintage verb, create automation clip. Decay, decay. It's very simple. If you don't know whatever how to automate a certain parameter and if it's related to a different plugin, so because this is to Valhalla Vintage Verb, just literally tweak it around. Go to Tools, last uh, last tweaked, create automation clip. So, and then I can um, create copy value. Let's just do like right here, paste value. And paste value. So now when we go back, let's play it. Super simple. I might just keep it because I kind of like it. Kind of like the effect it does. Remove it. I'm going to move it to all the instances where I want it to. So super simple. That's creating automation clips. And you can do that for your reverbs, as you guys could see. You could do it for your EQs. You could do it for anything. If you want to change something in Omnisphere, if you want to change something in Electra, that is great. A lot of uh, EDM and uh, DJ type of people do it for like filters and such like that. Uh, it's more common there. A lot of, you know, with us uh, rap and hip hop trap producers. Usually, we're more simple with how we do stuff. Beat it, I see what up.